Why is high, do you reckon? Why is that? It's got some G. Yes. And again, we will see that there is a shortcut method to this and a quote-unquote longer method. All right, so let's start off with y again. So we have our differential equation. y double dot is equal to negative g minus k y dot. Okay? Okay, so like I said, easy way and hard way to do this. What do we want to see? Method. You do? Yeah, that's true. Why do you feel like that's necessary? Because we have to get an understanding. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and try them. Go ahead and try the longer method then, and then I'll show you the quick way. I don't want to do it. <laughs> That's what you just asked for. No, I thought you'd do it. Yeah. I'll give you guys just two minutes to have a go, and then. Yeah. All right, I'll give you a big hint here. So here, oh, yeah, yeah, we have g is equal to 10, and k is equal to 1 to 5. Well, so know. what we can do is we can actually substitute those values in. I'll give, uh, no, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you one better. Now, how about this? What you can also do is, when there are two things kind of in common, you can actually factorize them. So, <laughs> this is a little bit harder. If I'm taking out negative one and five from this, what do I get? Yeah, oh, there you go. There we go. There we go. That's another clue for you. It's a differential equation here. Is it equal to dy dot dt? Baby steps. So okay. All right. So here's how we do it. Right. So yeah. So dn dt is equal to minus kn is solved by the following differential equation. Right. So n is equal to minus a e to the kt. Is that right? Did I get that right? Sorry, not minus a. A e to the minus k t. Okay. So that's the solution to this differential equation here, right? So when we have something of this form, which we had up here, the solution is this, right? So what we got over here, right? These two are the solutions respectively, right? If I want to solve this guy, when there's a constant here, you learned in year 11 something called modified exponential growth and decay. And that's essentially what this is. You have a constant on the outside. How does that change things? So if I have here dn dt, is equal to, make sure I get this right, k outside of n minus p. The solution to n can be written like this. It looks similar, yeah, but then you've got this sort of additional value here. Cool. Yeah, so um, P is just kind of our sort of constant that's going on here. And so if you think about it in this way, because this is the form, what is our value of P in this situation? It's not actually 50. All right, if we want to match it to this form over here, it'd be negative 50. Would you agree? All right, because we had plus 50, but this form, this... Um, Differential equation solution relies on having n minus p. So you just have to make a modification that's there. And so this is why I'm saying you don't have to go through the whole reciprocal process. You can if you want, right? But if you can recall the solution to a differential equation, if you can make a reference to this, and I encourage you, if you are going to do that, you write that, right? Then what you can do is you can say, okay, well then the solution to this differential equation, y dot, what's that going to be? It's going to be my p value. So p is equal to negative 50. Negative 50 plus a, well I shouldn't use a again because I've already used it, I shouldn't use b, e to the minus kt, or, oh, be careful here, minus k, should it be minus k in the front? I think this should be minus k, yeah, like that, yeah. So then that's one on, negative one on, f negative t on five. Well, I mean, you've seen differential equation solutions before, right? Solutions to differential equations. We did that in year 11, and we've also done that briefly in year 12, and we looked at the, diff the different types of differential equations. So um, this one here, probably something you want to recall, similar to this one over here, yeah? Um, like I said, though, you don't have to do it that way. You are able to derive it in this fashion if you require, if you so wish, Angus, to further your understanding.
<laughs> That's right. And then now it's um, kind of tried and true bread and butter, right? We want to be able to um, use initial conditions to solve for our constant. So what do we have here? We've got at t is equal to zero. Um, y dot, I'm going to make it right, this, right correctly this time. Y dot is equal to, was it 30? Cool. So go ahead and solve that for me. So we've got 30 is equal to negative 50 plus b e to the zero. Um, so b is equal to what, 80? Yeah. Cool. So then our first equation, y dot is equal to negative 50 plus 80 e to the negative t on five. All right, so we've got the velocity part there. And we're going to find one more. We actually haven't even finished the question yet, so. Because <laughs> there's another part of the question there. We'll get there, we'll get there. Well, it was like a two far. But you guys are really good at that now, so. Well, it's because what are, what, yeah, well, what are these? These are parametric equations, because they're in terms of t, right? And in terms of another variable. But to find the Cartesian one, we have to um, yeah, simultaneous, or we'll eliminate the variable, right? So, uh, integrating this guy, so if we know at t equals to zero, y equals to zero. So integrating this guy again, and again, we've got an exponential here, so it's quite nice actually. So um, y is going to equal to integral of y dot dt, which is then equal to negative 50t, uh, or minus, or oh, hang on, plus negative 5 80 e to the negative t on 5 plus our constant. What's c in my hopes now? Like c4 or something? Yeah, I think I've rubbed off my c's now. <laughs> Let's just say c4. At t equals 0, y equals 0. So I've got 0 is equal to 0 plus, what's this, negative 400 e to the 0 plus c4, and we say c is equal to 400, checks out. Okay, so then you've got this lovely equation over here. Well, what was the original question actually? 